All right, here's a question for you now. Do you know what it means to have the autism spectrum disorder? The truth is, not many people do. And this is exactly what this day, World Autism Awareness Day, is meant to do. Spread awareness so that communities can be more accommodative to adults and children with ASD. As Sharon Mamani reports, this is a development disorder that has no cure yet, but is only managed. It is an easy Sunday for the family of Hilda Monchari and Lemi Nganga. Today, they get to spend quality time with their five-year-old son, Jason. But it hasn't been an easy journey for this young family. At about one year of age, Jason was found to be suffering from autism spectrum disorder. We realized our son couldn't walk, couldn't talk, and uh, he was a little bit, uh, he was not social. As with many parents of autistic children, it wasn't easy getting precise knowledge of what ailed their son. We started uh, maybe researching on what probably could be wrong with our son, but still being hopeful that he is still okay. Because as you know, when you have a boy, you always told that sometimes they delay in uh, certain aspects of uh, life development. But what exactly is the autism spectrum disorder? It is a lifelong condition that affects social interaction, communication, interest and behavior. Conditions under this order vary in symptoms and severity among individuals, hence the term spectrum. So parents sometimes have a diagnosis, they're hearing this word for the first time, they don't know where to go, what to do about it. So when we link the parents and the professionals together, they can see that there is hope out there. Children on the autism spectrum in Kenya face so many challenges with stigmatization topping the least. So even the parents of neurotypical kids also need to be told what autism is such that they're able to train their kids to accept other children the way they are and uh, be accommodative of them. Physical and financial access to education follows. Very few teachers in Kenya are trained to train children with autism. Private schools, which give specialized training, are often too costly. We have to empower teachers so that they are able to work with all children, even children with autism. But we are also aware that there are other children who may not be able to follow the regular program. And as a result, we are ensuring that we are coming up with curriculum that will meet these students' needs. The emotional and mental burden that parents with autistic children bear cannot be overstated. <laughs> Some ASD champions in the country, such as the Kaizora Institute and the Differently Talented Society of Kenya, have sought to offer psychosocial support for these parents by bringing them together to share experiences and for the past seven years, organizing Autism Awareness and Fun Day. Parents have psychosocial support, linking them to the professionals and also in a lot of instances, we share our experiences and we help each other through. To most parents, is even you can go to a point of depression because you know, you're now starting questioning. Like for my case, you know, I had so many unanswered questions. Is it, did I not take the right supplements during pregnancy? Did I, is it the fact that I work in a radiation department that affected my unborn baby? But uh, when you accept, that is the first step towards uh, helping your child live a normal, normal life. The exact cause of autism is unknown, but neurologists associate it with genetics and environmental factors. As the world lights it up blue on this particular day, many children and adults on the autism spectrum in the country are still undiagnosed, misunderstood and looking for help. A call for both communities and the government to work for more inclusion of persons living with ASD in the country. Sharon Momani, KTN News, at the Bombers of Kenya, Nairobi.